Okay, so this is the other event deck. This is called War of Attrition. We just open it up. Um, again, the packaging is very neat, the box is clearly presentable, and it's very easy to open, like so. The packet comes with a roll-down die, a D20, to record your life, with the new Phyrexia symbol. There are two leaflets that come with this. The first one talks about the basic rules of the game, and is double-sided to make, and is in simple English to make it nice and clear. This side talks about the game, the game mat, and the various cards and zone. The other side talks about the mechanics of the game, and also has a glossary to help you understand the terms. Again, in simple, simple English. Now on to the actual cards. It comes with a sealed 60 card deck and a sealed 15 card sideboard. We'll open the main deck first. There's a thing here at the back to make it nice and easy to open for you. You've got your creatures, some excellent one drops that start the aggressively, and then these are two of the most expensive cards. They're worth about £12 each and are really popular in the current format. You've then got other creatures to help you out, including artifact removal, flyers, this, again, is one of the major components of the deck. It helps you get all your equipment out, as well as being a 2-mana two 2-2. Two two. These cards are also really aggressive. And then you go on to your more powerful bombs, including Mirror and Crusader, another money card. It's got double strike and protection from black and green, two of the most powerful co colours. You've then got your equipment. A cheap Dark Steel Axe, Flare Husk, four of them. And then you've got more removal, like Journey to Nowhere which removes your, their creatures from the game. It's very powerful. This helps protect your creatures, especially the equipped ones. You've then got more equipment, like Sickle Slicer, Sword of Vengeance, which is really powerful. Bone Horde, again, it's another money card, and when your creatures have gone to the graveyard, this gets more powerful. And Skin Wing, to give your creatures flying. And then you go to the lands, you've got Dread Statuary, these are what are known as manlands. They can become creatures to the end of the turn and can become another beat stick in times of trouble. And then you've got lots of planes to help you cast all your spells. Your spells are all white, so you don't have a problem in terms of mana. So there's your main deck. And then you've got your 15 card sideboard. You've got Core Duelist, which is another aggressive card if you need if you need it. Celestial Purge, some excellent removal if the opponent's playing black or red. You've got Revoke Existence, which exiles their artifacts or enchantments. Especially useful if they've got an equipment or another artifact that's giving you a load of trouble. Apostle's Blessing if your opponent's running removal. Core Firewalker if your opponent's running red to help you stay above zero. And two arrests to to complement your journeys to nowhere. The deck also comes with a deck divider to help you separate your main deck from your side deck. And that is War of Attrition.